Spain is different. In the midst of disillusionment with the usual parties and politicians in Europe and the US, with citizens in France heading off to the far right voting for Marine Le Pen and her National Front, with those of Poland voting for the Law and Justice Party which sees Hungary's anti-democratic government as a role model, with those of Greece, well you get the picture. What is Spain going to do with general elections on December 20th? After all, Spaniards have more reason to complain than many other nations. Tough austerity measures and unemployment over 20%, even with the economic recovery. But Spain does not move in sync with any country, let alone France, Greece and Poland. The governing Partido Popular, despite all the corruption and the charisma black hole of its leader, the country's Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy, scores highest in the opinion polls with 27%. Why? Spaniards are more pragmatic than some of their neighbours. They're focusing on the economic revival, which has come about due to hard-hitting austerity measures and labour reforms, helped by a low oil price, the euro's depreciation and private sector restructuring. The traditional opposition party, the Socialists, whose policies are really social democratic, is clinging to second place in the polls with 21% as a new party snaps at its heels. The new party, Ciudadanos, or Citizens, will be the kingmaker. It scores 19% in the polls and will ally with one of the two traditional parties. Now, Ciudadanos is a protest party, if you will, but its politics lie squarely in the centre. It is fiscally conservative while its social policies are liberal. It's pro-business and calls for corporation tax to be lowered. The leader, Albert Rivera, is a fresh-faced 36-year-old Catalan that is very useful at a time when Catalonia's independence and its lack of governability are key issues. In fact, 3,000 companies have moved their headquarters from Catalonia, mainly to Madrid over the last three years, with the pace accelerating this year. In truth, the fault for the current state of the Catalan question lies just as much of the shoulders of an intransigent, unimaginative Prime Minister. The best result for Spain's unity, which happens to be the most likely result, is a socialist Ciudadanos coalition or a popular party Ciudadanos coalition, with Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy forced out of the picture. There is actually another protest party, Podemos, but I almost didn't mention it because its support in the polls has plummeted to 14% from 28% a year ago. It's led by a ponytailed academic, and even he has been moving at a brisk pace away from the extreme left towards the centre, where the majority of Spaniards are most comfortable. Growth this year looks like being 3.2%, and next year is estimated at 27 That is the best in Europe. Spain's stock market provides a buying opportunity for 2016, with the IBEX index forecast to rise over 12%. Moderation, aspiration and consumption are not words that set the world on fire. But for Spain, they ring true. And so they will on December 20th. Thanks for viewing.